Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of Destination Unknown. On this episode we are going to Coranda, that's not too far from Cairns and it's a must see when you are here. You've got two options of getting up there, you can either get the cable car or the train and then vice versa on the way back down. We are so excited to start exploring. We booked our tickets directly through Skyrail and paid $121, which was cheaper than booking through a tour operator. So we've just got off the coach, had our tickets checked and we have just joined the queue now to board our first part of the journey. What is it, John? The cable car. The cable car! So we decided to book the ticket where we get the cable car up to Coranda but then we get the scenic train journey back. So I was really looking forward to both. The cable car maybe not so much for John. Terrified. It goes up to 1,200 feet apparently. It's like, wow. Well, I feel sick already. <laughs> we actually have a cable car to ourselves, which is pretty good. Uh, so it looks like these cable cars normally seat six people. When the journey gets broken up, because we do stop at the first point, which is Red Peak, maybe on the next journey we might not be so lucky and we might have to share, but that's fine. John, how are you feeling now that you're in the cable car? Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna get that. I guess you can tell who's gonna be filming this journey. No, 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 no. No, no. Just look a little bit. Just I can't wow, look. look. I can't look. Not at all? No. If I look down, I can see the ground. If I look to the side, I can see the ground. I'm just sitting here with my eyes closed. I'm not even joking when I say I really can't do this anymore. I'm glad I'm here now. <laughs> it's not funny though. <laughs> so you've only got like another two legs to go. How does it feel, John, to be walking round a rainforest? I'm better now I'm here. Although we got out of the cable car and she said, oh, don't worry, you've only got another two to go. Right. Brilliant, thanks very much for that. But yeah, it's nice to listen to all the, the sound of the animals and stuff. Just nice to have my feet on the ground. That's the way I like it. got back in the cable car now and we are heading to Baron Falls. So it looks like we've picked up a hitchhiker along the way. There's now only two of us again. Uh, the beetle made a vicious attack. <coughs> Didn't it John? Yep. Vicious. So we're now at the next stop of Baron Falls and there's a viewpoint where we can go see it and get up close and personal. We're also on the hunt for some wildlife as well. So, so far we saw the beetle that was in the cable car that attacked us. Um, but apart from that, we can hear birds but we haven't actually seen any. Um, apparently there's pythons here as well that are big enough to eat a kangaroo. So maybe we'll see one of those from a distance. Right, here we go again. Another 10 minutes now to, uh, to Karanda. We're nearly there, the home straight. So, we'll see what we can see along the way this time. Well, Becky will. Right, so we're here. And as soon as the cable car pulled up, I had this woman waving at me, paparazzi, bang, photo taken. So anyway, we walked through and said, all your photos there, if you want it. Tried to get me to part with money. I haven't even entered Karanda yet. $28.95 for a picture. Don't think so.
So not far from the, the train station or the cable car, you walk through this little parade of shops selling everything from homemade crafts to jewellery and uh, some items of clothing as well. So straight away, if you want to spend money, this is the place to do it. I mean it when I say, Becky's just tried a sample of this chest rub and she absolutely stinks, it smells awful. I don't think it smells that bad. Really, don't stand near me, it smells, no, it really, really, really stinks. Anyway, I'm just about to buy a hat, uh, $10 because the sun's fierce, so I think it looks, I think it looks okay on me, just have a go, yeah. Right, so I'm all set with my hat, which I like. And Becky's decided to buy one as well. Hey, so this is mine. <laughs> Keep this one off. It was $27.95. And I also replaced my old sunglasses with a pair that are exactly the same for $18.95. For lunch we ate at the German Tucker Worst House. The food was delicious and the owner was so welcoming, if not a bit crazy. Food and drink prices here were reasonable considering we were in a huge tourist area. For two bratwurst and drinks the bill came to $27.50. It wasn't just here that prices were reasonable as many restaurants offered specials and meal deals to suit all budgets. We're down at the heritage markets now, so we're going to have a walk around, show you what there is on offer here. Small, isn't really it? For four dollars, that's tiny. Yeah, I mean, it is small for four dollars, but it's very refreshing. Tourist souvenir, backpacking, why not? But everyone's got one, haven't they? So we've decided not to skip the koala gardens. We don't like seeing them in zoos and things, but this is the only way that we're probably going to get to see a koala in Australia. So the walk around the garden should take about 40 minutes and the tickets were $20 per person. Crikey, there's a crook there. I, I haven't been serious, there are two. So I picked up some wallaby and kangaroo feed, went round, they're not bothered because they're just chilling in the sun in the rest area. So I managed to come across what's called a red-legged pedemolum.
So we had a little bit of time before we get the train back to Cairns, so we decided to pop into a local sports bar, have a cold beer, and Becky had a cold Coke. It was about $7 for the beer, and uh, $4.50 I think for the Coke. So that wasn't too bad. We had a couple of games of pool as well, which was free. And uh, so that was the best price really. So we're just walking down to the train station now to get the train back to Cairns. It's gonna be a two hour train ride and apparently it's very scenic and beautiful. So we're looking forward to that. and I didn't realise we were right at the front. So that is us back in Cairns now, it's 25 past 5 so just slightly earlier than estimated of uh, half past 5 and what a great day out it's been, we can definitely recommend that. It's been such a fantastic day, the only downside is we didn't really see that much wildlife, I think we saw what we thought was a turkey, mm. maybe, um, obviously we saw the wildlife in the koala gardens that was great but Coranda was still a fantastic experience and we would definitely recommend it. On that note we're going to leave it there and thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it please do hit that like button it helps us out so much and consider subscribing so you can see what we're doing next on our journey.